government's top priority is to fight corruption. Suspects in Yala violent attacks may have escaped to Malaysia. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to News on 2 with me, Amin Carlos. Now, Malaysia is trying to find a country willing to take self-exile. Cambodian opposition leader Muso Chua, who has been detained at the KL International Airport, KLIA. The Prime Minister, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, said the Malaysian government does not want to be at odds with any other government as it is not Malaysia's affair. Asked about the Cambodian opposition leaders who came to Malaysia to seek advice from him as they see Malaysia as their inspiration, Tun Dr. Mahathir said that principally ASEAN members do not interfere in the internal affairs of other member countries. Our principle in ASEAN in particular and generally is that we don't interfere in the internal affairs of other countries. We don't want them to use Malaysia as a base for struggle in other countries. He said this after chairing a meeting of the National Committee on Government Election Pledges in Putrajaya. The Immigration Department detained Sochua, Vice President of the Ban Opposition Cambodian National Rescue Party, CNRP, close to midnight on Wednesday. The detention came ahead of a planned return of exiled CNRP leaders, including Sochua and Sam Rainsy, the party's founder, to Cambodia. The Pakatan Harapan PH government is giving top priority to the pledge to fight corruption while being committed to fulfilling other promises made in the last general election. Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad said from the reports he gathered, there were no more large-scale corruption cases while small cases of corruption had also been on the decline. On PH's efforts to fulfill the promises it made in the last general election, Chen Dr. Mahathir, who was also PH's chairman, said most of the promises had already been fulfilled and the government still has more time to fulfill the others. Kebanyakannya kita telah laksana, tetapi ada perkara. Kita janji untuk lima tahun. Ini belum lima tahun lagi. Tapi yang ada yang sudah kita capai, ada yang kita capai separuh. Uh, separuh saja dan kita ada masa lagi untuk melaksanakan yang belum dicapai sepenuhnya. He said this after chairing the National Government Pledge Committee meeting in Putrajaya. Tun Dr. Mahathir also said staying together as a coalition was the biggest promise that had been fulfilled by PH since it formed the new government after winning the last general election in 2018. Yes, we argue. We had different opinions. Tapi kita boleh duduk bersama dan kita boleh putuskan uh, mengikut konsensus kerana biasanya kita bekerja mengikut konsensus dan inilah yang menyebabkan kita sekarang ini sudah dekat satu setengah tahun tak ada masalah. Well, now, police do not rule off the possibility that the suspects involved in the violent attacks in Yala, southern Thailand, which killed 15 people on Wednesday, have escaped to Malaysia. As such, Kelantan Police Chief Dato Hassanuddin Hassan said security along the Kelantan-Thailand border will be beefed up and that he had called on all district police chiefs along the border to take proactive measures. He said police viewed the matter seriously even though no Malaysians were affected by the incident. Jadi kami ambil satu langkah berjaga-jaga. Anda kata kalau berlaku apa-apa kita kita dah siap sedia. Kita tak boleh jangka benda-benda ni berlaku tambah-tambah di negeri orang kan. Bukan saya nak sekak orang nak pergi ke sana sini tidak saya tidak sekak. Tapi lebih baik kita ambil satu langkah ke depan supaya lebih berhati-hati lagi. Datu Hassanuddin also advised members of the public to take caution when traveling to southern Thailand for the time being.
Well, the first and second phases of the Langat 2 water treatment plants are scheduled to begin operations in January next year. And Selangor State Infrastructure and Public Amenities, Agriculture, Modernization and Agro-Based Industry Committee Chairman Isam Hashim will said the operations of the two Langat two phases could increase the water reserves in the state given the capacity to produce 565 million litres of water per day or MLD. The two phases of the Langa 2 plant were still at the trial stage to ensure they were able to meet water supply demand in the Klang Valley. Jadi untuk stream A ni uh, dia ada saluran pasal 1 dan 2. Jadi untuk pasal, pasal 1 dan dua ni tengah sedang testing and commissioning TNC dia panggil ya tengah ujian dan hari itunya sepatutnya siap Oktober tapi bila dia minta lanjutkan lagi testing ni sehingga bulan 12 dan kita yakin bulan 12 okeylah settle lah mana bulan 1 tu kita akan dapat 325 uh, juta liter sehari uh, dan bulan Mac lagi 240 jadi 565 yang saya sebut tadi tu lah he was met at the Selangor State Assembly building lobby in Shah Alam. Well, asked if the project could address the issue of frequent water supply disruptions in Klang Valley, Isham said most of the problems were caused by human negligence. The construction of the 8 billion ringgit Langat 2 water treatment plant began in 2014 to meet the high water supply demand in the Klang Valley and is capable of supplying 1,130 MLDs when it's fully completed. Well, coming up, Messec allocates 16 million ringgit for R&D under iConnect. But first, Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad has unveiled AgroBank's new vision and mission to mark its Golden Jubilee anniversary. Now, the bank's new vision inspires to empower agriculture beyond banking, while its mission is to provide ongoing support for the benefit of the community, economy and stakeholders. Earlier, AgroBank President and Chief Executive Officer Khadija Iskanda said as espoused by the new vision and mission, AgroBank will continue to deliver good banking solutions to create positive value and impact on the community, economy, environment and interested parties. In terms of financial achievements, Khadija said AgroBank continued to record profit every year with expected pre-tax profit of 200 million ringgit this year. Setakat tahun 2019, aset pembiayaan Agrobank telah mencapai lebih daripada ringgit Malaysia 11 bilion yang juga lebih melebihi sasaran aset untuk tahun 2020. Pertumbuhan ini sebahagian besarnya dibiayai oleh dana komersial. Dari segi kualiti aset pembiayaan, Agrobank telah berjaya menurunkan kadar pembiayaan tidak berbayar atau non-performing financing rate dari 22% bagi tahun 2011 kepada hanya 4% pada tahun 2019. Agrobank's journey began with the establishment of Bank Britannia in Malaysia in August 1969. It was renamed Agrobank on 1st April 2008 with the corporatization of Bank Britannia in Malaysia Berhad. Well, now grants totaling 16 million ringgit are being allocated for research and development, that's R&D, under the iConnect initiative. Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change of Mestek Minister Yobi Yin said the initiative focuses on four pilot areas, namely health and wellness, fintech in Islamic finances for services, industry 4.0, which is for manufacturing and halal supply chain. The initiative is a joint collaboration with the Academy of Science Malaysia. Kita membuat satu platform kerjasama di antara empat uh, pihak ya satu researcher penyelidik awam dan kedua adalah industri ketiga kerajaan keempat uh, NGO NGO ni semua empat ini dalam kolaboratif uh, apa kita platform kerjasama supaya kita boleh ada R&D ataupun penyelidik yang demand driven yang di mana kita ada keperluan ya di pasaran uh, ataupun keperluan di industri. 
She was met after launching the Malaysian Collaborative Network Platform for Disruptive Innovation and Malaysia Open Science Platform, MOSP, initiatives in Putrajaya. Yo said with iConnect, which provides better ecosystem in terms of innovation, researchers' availability and collaborative platform, the country would be able to attract more knowledge-intensive foreign direct investment into Malaysia. Afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story, suspects in Yala violent attacks may have escaped to Malaysia as police tighten Kelantan, Thailand border security. Join us again at 7 p.m. for more updates on the latest happenings here and around the world. Till then, Mama Damien Carlos signing off here and do stay tuned to TV2.